A very good afternoon to everyone present here with warm greetings. It gives me a great pleasure to extend a warm welcome on behalf of Department of Civil Engineering, Amity School of uh, uh, Engineering and Technology, Amity University of Haryana, conducting this wonderful uh, five days global workshop on overseas career and uh, educational expo. Today is our uh, day two. So now I'm, now I'm handing over to Dr. Naveen BP sir to give a brief introduction to the speaker for the day two. Yeah, please uh, take it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, sir. yeah, thank you, Dr. Praveen. First, I would like to introduce today's speaker, Ms. Shweta. She completed BCom from University of Mumbai, India. She holds more than five years of in international student recruitment experience for the country of USA and Canada. She is a band ambassador for uh, Schiller International School. She helped thousand plus students to migrate the abroad. With this introduction now, I would request Ms. Shweta to deliver a talk on USA student visa roadmap. Thank you. It's now it's over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, so a very good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for taking your time out. Uh, my agenda for today is for you to be able to understand how do you begin the process of studying abroad. It is a very tedious task. The process to start studying abroad starts one year prior uh, to whenever you desire to start studying. So here uh, I will be able to brief you about the information. Very first thing, uh, if you are choosing USA, it is a very good option. Let me just uh, present to you all the information. So here, as you can see on my screen, these are the popular cities where students usually go to, be it New York, New Jersey, Chicago, San Francisco. As I know, majority of the are from a civil engineering background. So in any of these uh, states or cities, uh, you can have a great career. One major USP of studying in USA is uh, no matter where you study, you will be able to start your work anywhere in the country. So for example, if you feel you are studying in a great university in Chicago and you have gotten a work opportunity in Texas, you can move over there. Uh, the place where you are uh, choosing to study, uh, it also depends upon your budget. For example, if you have a higher budget, you can choose cities like New York, New Jersey, Boston. But if relatively you have a lower budget, you can uh, choose Ohio or Texas. In terms of the difference, uh, in New York, New Jersey, the living expense can go up till 15 to $20,000 a year. While in places like Ohio, Texas, it can go up till 10 to $12,000 a year. So here uh, it caters to all the student in terms of the needs and requirements, the type of university, no matter what profile the student is coming from, they will always have an option as there are various types of universities in USA. Uh, can you move to the next slide? Now, the very first question is, why should I study in the country? Very first thing, uh, USA is home to the top universities. By this, I mean to say there are more than 5,000 universities in USA. So no matter what your profile is, no matter what your GPA is, you will always have an option to study over there. They have gotten a very holistic approach in terms of applications. So for example, uh, academic factor is not the only thing they look out for. Here they will look out at your internship or any extracurricular activities that you have done or your uh, examinations that you are giving. Or if you have any portfolio ready with you, they will have a look at it. So no matter what your profile is, I can always give you an option to study in a good university. Now here, right from Ivy Leagues to other universities, there are options available. As we are all aware, USA has a top universities. Most of the top universities in the world are located in USA. It is always suggested that you apply early right now. It is a very good time to apply for fall intake if that is what you're looking out for. Applications are mostly open for it. Here we all know USA is known for the quality of education. Uh, most of the universities, uh, in fact, all of these universities in USA, they have accreditation from top bodies which are accepted all over the world. Suppose the completion of your program, 
no matter which part of the country you are uh, working at or no matter which part of the world you are seeking jobs there will always be options open because uh, a resume with us degree has got lot of value on top of it the accreditation is accepted all over the world as you are all aware usa gives a very high return of investment option what i mean to say is uh, per year you can expect around 20 to 25 lakhs investing uh, for your studies in the country but in terms of pay scale it can go up to from $75000 to $95000 per year in period as low as 1 to 2 year you will be able to get all the money that you have invested for your studies so in terms of high paying job in terms of the companies usa is a very good option uh, now one very good part about uh, the usa education system is you will always have an option to choose uh, what kind of program you wish to study how what kind of subjects you want to club together and uh, how you want your study experience to be like there are many students who believe uh, they are great in theory and they wish to uh, study in that particular manner so in this way you can choose an ms program which has an option of theory and research if you are the kind of person who believes uh, i am more into practical based education system you can go into course work option as well so here you have two options either you can go for theory based masters or you can go for course based masters or you can club it together on basis of uh, your liking on basis of what you are actually looking for most of the students who wish to do phd post the masters they even go for research based education system now usa has most top companies in the world so here the moment uh, you start to study in the college the first day itself you will be able to get in touch with the career development center in the uh, in the university itself wherein they will be guiding you what kind of uh, companies you should look out for uh, how is the company's approach towards the people they are taking interview of what kind of questions you can expect what kind of test you can expect so right from the beginning they will assist you most of the uh, universities have multiple job fairs uh, let me give you an example if you are studying in uh, state of california so over there they have uh, 23 cal state universities so if there is a job fair in any of the cal state uh, you will be able to attend it no matter what uh, cal state you are studying in so as i said there are 23 uh, cal state universities so no matter where you go you will be uh, meeting various company professionals in period of 2 years you will be able to expand your network very widely so this is one great opportunity for uh, all of you if you are considering usa just be aware that you will have multiple and plethora of options for work now the diversity and multicultural exposure will give students learning experience by this i mean to say in any university you go to there will be people coming from all across the globe which will also expand your networking skills so later on if you wish to settle to canada for example you will always know somebody from that country uh, even uh, the exposure knowing about uh, culture will also expand your vision so this is one major advantage in terms of diversity uh, there is no other country in the world which will be able to match usa diversity now majority of the universities provide internship option to students so uh, in most of the universities in your last semester you will have an internship option most of the options and i would say in fact all the options are paid internship where you will be able to convert it later to a full time job if you are excelling in your internship you will have an on the floor work experience right before you complete your program which is uh, of one big advantage to all the students Uh, as i said already a, U, a resume with us degree holds lot of value all across the globe uh, there are many people who study for example if there are lawyers there are civil engineers lot of uh, the students who study uh, from usa and later on if they desire to return to our own country or in any other country they will be getting really good uh, job opportunities so these are the major points which you can consider uh for studying in usa these are the major usps i would say uh can we please move to the next slide 
now these are the popular courses uh, you have masters in management mim course then you have engineering engineering management so engineering management is for those students uh, who have studied engineering but now wants a switch in management uh, as most of the students who are attending today's session are from engineering background if you uh, desire to have a, a switch but not a complete switch engineering management is an excellent option for you uh, this uh, as this was organized by civil engineering department there must be many students who might be not just looking for ms in civil engineering but uh, many of you will be looking for ms in structural engineering or other options so here you will have a majority of elective options plus you will have majority of majors option by this i mean to say uh, not all the colleges will provide you ms in structural engineering so what you can do here you can study ms in civil engineering with a specialization of structural engineering uh, this is equivalent most of your subjects will be of uh, structural engineering only here you can choose a major you can also choose a minor a lot of the students along with uh, ms in civil engineering just for an example if you have chosen a structural engineering as your specialization as your major and simultaneously you wish to study business as well you can choose that as a minor as i said you can club your courses according to your desire according to how you wish to uh, further go ahead in your career so not uh, many countries will provide you that option here in usa you can uh, choose the subjects uh, in the way you desire to go ahead here you also have ms in computer science and it this is also a very popular program then you have an mba option now there are as the students as all of you right now you do not have work experience if you even want to study mba program uh, we do have options available for freshers as i said they just do not look at the academic factor but they will have a holistic approach they will be looking at any internship if you have done any or any extracurricular activities so mba for freshers is also open uh, some universities will ask for a gmat or gre exam or some universities will ask you for a statement of purpose and other documents so you also have an mba option ready with you then you have ms in data science business analytics these are also very popular programs in us majority of the universities they have around uh, 500 to 600 courses option available with them by this i mean to say you will always have something that uh, you wish to study for even in terms of electives for each semester they will have around 20 to 30 elective options so you can choose according to what you want to study for uh can you please uh, share the next slide now here uh, let's talk about the application process documents this is where uh, most of the queries are of the student how do i begin with all of this so here there are three factors which are very important in terms of your application they will be firstly looking at your academic record now here uh, you will have to include all your mark sheets uh, if, even if you have certain backlogs you will have to include that as well so they will look at your academic record secondly you will have to give uh, two examination first being the english proficiency test and second examination being your competitive exam if you are talking about english proficiency test you will have two option either you go for toefl exam or you go for ielts exam now the difference is toefl is us based english while ielts is uk based english the one that is spoken here in india now toefl is accepted in all the uni universities in usa ielts is also accepted in majority of universities but not all but majority they do accept ielts all the top universities so if a student is solely planning to apply to usa if that is your motive then i suggest you give toefl exam the validity is for 2 years and if you uh, simultaneously desire to apply to other country as well for example canada or uk then you can give ielts exam but if solely usa i suggest you go for toefl examination 
Now, both this examination, they have a validity for two years. So if you are going for the fall intake, results will be out in uh, 10 to 12 days. And you can book your time slot anywhere. Uh, anytime you are prepared, you can book the slot for the examination and give it. So if you're applying for the fall intake uh, this coming September, uh, you can uh, prepare in a month or two and then give the examination. Then you have GRE and GMAT examination. Uh, one uh, good thing about this intake is a lot of universities have waived off GRE and GMAT due to the pandemic. So you will have an option uh, to go for universities. And here I'm talking about good universities, the one with good ranking and the one with good accreditation who have also start, who have started to wave off the examination. So if you're planning to go to a university without GRE, then this is the most appropriate time for you to apply. So GRE and GMAT examination, the validity is for five years and approximately it takes around uh, three to four months for a student to prepare. So these are the three factors that they look for importantly. And simultaneously, they will be looking for extracurricular activities, internship, or any research work that you have done. So you always include in your CV all the research that you have done and any internship letters that you have. We will also include it in your uh, documents. In terms of documents, it will require your passport, your English proficiency score, 10th and 12th grade score. Then uh, you will also be needing a bachelor's mark sheet. As I know, um, not majority of you will not be having your uh, final semester mark sheet, but we can still apply because uh, the university will take your final semester mark sheet post you receive it. That will be uh, before you arrive to the university. So we can do that if you are ready with your uh, mark sheets up till uh, fifth semester. We can put in the application. CV is required, GRE and GMAT score. If you are not ready with any of the examination, English proficiency test or GRE, we can still apply. We can mention the date on which you will be giving the examination and other documents. By this, I mean to say research paper or if you are uh, if you have published any paper, you can uh, also submit that along with your application. Now, if we are talking about uh, the expenses, now this is uh, the first thing that you take into consideration uh, in which country you are studying at. So here for a master's program, you can expect a total cost of 20 to 25 lakhs per year. Now, this will also include your tuition fee and your living expense. By living expense, I mean to say your accommodation, your food and other miscellaneous expenses. Now, how you can manage your budget? Very first thing, uh, if you, uh, if your living expense, you want to cut it down, as I said, live in a state uh, like Texas, Ohio, over there you will have ample opportunities. Plus the living expense is 50% of what you will be spending in Bay Area or in New York, New Jersey. The level of education will remain the same. Another important factor is uh, if you're looking at the tuition fee, if you want to reduce it, then you can go for a public university rather than a private university. Now in USA, uh, you should always uh, know there is absolutely no difference between public and private university quality of education. As I said, accrediting board. Hello. Need to choose either of the option. So consider the country, uh, state where you are living at and the type of university you wish to study at for uh, the expenses. 10 to 25 lakhs, uh, sorry, 20 to 25 lakhs per year. Total cost can go up till 45 to 50 lakhs. If you're going for an MBA program, uh, certain universities will have an option to give you an accelerated MBA program option wherein the duration would be of uh, one year. So uh, the living expense would cut down, but the tuition fee in most of these uh, universities, they do remain the same. So you can also go for that option. Now MBA, most of the programs are of two years. Uh, freshers MBA are also, uh, freshers are also accepted for MBA in many of the universities. 
so if any of you are planning to pursue mba you can go ahead with it uh, one major uh, point is gmat is waived off due to the pandemic in most of the universities so this is the right time for you to put in your application you can request from for the transcripts from your university and then it'll be a good time for you to apply uh, can we please move to the next slide uh now here let's talk about the visa and the work opportunities so students uh, will be traveling on f1 visa in usa you can travel 6 months prior to your program start date meaning if your program is starting in the month of september uh, sorry students can apply to the program 6 months prior to the date so if your program is starting in september you can only put in your visa application 6 months prior so if you receive your offer letter in a month then you will be able to put in the application in terms of actually traveling the country you can go one month prior to your program state start date if your program is starting in uh, for example 1st of august you can only go on 1st of july or later than that not before that that is one of the visa rule now students are allowed to work 20 hours per week on the campus now in usa no matter what uh, university you are studying at Uh, if you are working part time for example when your program starts and you just uh, wish to have an extra income now let me tell you this will not cover your living expense but uh, it can cover your slight miscellaneous expenses now the type of jobs that you can expect it can be in a library or uh, in an academic position if you maintain a good gpa uh, then research assistantship and teaching assistantship is a great uh, opportunity uh they waive off certain part of your tuition fee or you are given a stipend so academically if you are maintaining a good record uh you can get this uh, option you will be able to work for 20 hours per week minimum wage is 10 to 12 us dollars per hour now that will depend upon which state you are uh, studying in now if an internship is part of your program then obviously you can work outside the campus in the company that is offering you an internship now internship is called as curriculum practical training and the duration of which cannot exceed more than one year most of these universities will give you an option uh, to go for internship for period of maximum 6 months uh less minimum it could be one month or two months but maximum it will be of 6 months duration and most of the students who are actually taking up internships and are excelling it uh it is later on converted to a full time job so majority of the universities will provide you that option it will be in your final semester now uh, as i said earlier post the completion student can work anywhere in the country uh you have that option to do it now let me talk about opt now the once you start practicing your work it is called as opt uh depending upon your courses that uh, the duration will vary now it is here segregated into two manners first being stem based course and another one is non stem based course uh if you are going for any engineering related course or any uh, it or tech related course Uh, or science related course it will fall under stem now one major advantage of stem based courses uh, your study duration will be two uh, two years now year by two years i mean to say uh, in period of 18 to 20 months your program will end now uh, the no program duration is actually of 24 months it is of 18 months uh, or maximum it can go up till 20 months that will be your program duration post then you one year opt is provided to all the students wherein you are able to practice work anywhere in the country uh, here even the wages are very high so as i said the return of investment option is good post you complete your studies then um, in one or two year you would be able to recover all uh, the money that you have invested and plus two years of work extension is given to all the students so total duration will be 5 years 3 years you will be working and 2 years it will be study 
now to later convert it to h1b visa it has to be sponsored uh, by your employer that is all together a different process but uh, five years is also a very good amount of time to gain the work experience and also the exposure if you are going for a non stem course now some universities will have an mba program under non stem some universities does provide it under stem so if you are going for any uh, mba with a specialization in finance or marketing analytics or business analytics it does fall under stem but if you are going for a plain mba which does not have any math or uh, finance uh, subject in their curriculum then two years will be your study duration and one year opt will be provided to all the students so total duration will be of three years so this is about the visa in terms of work options uh, many of the universities also provide an exchange option to all uh, to lot of the students uh, wherein you will be able to network with lot of professionals in terms of how easy it is to get a job in usa so getting a job anywhere in the world even be it india is a tough task so uh what you need to do is uh, you have to maintain a good academic record because even your professors will be writing letter of recommendation for you if you are doing any internship then uh, you have to uh, maintain an excellent record of it so that it can later get converted into a full time job and uh, also you have to take active active participation in job fairs and career seminars so these are three uh, important factors for getting jobs in terms of networking you attend all the career fairs all the career seminars that are happening in the college right from your first semester so most of the students they are able to get a job right before they complete their uh, degree right before they even have their degree in hand with them so if you are planning it in a meticulous way if you are uh, doing it uh, if you are planning your route very diligently uh, then you will be able to get a really good job so this was all about the process of how you need to begin what all documents you should have in place with you and what you can expect once you go over there so i am done with my presentation if you have any queries you please feel free to ask me Okay, so I do have yeah. one question here. Yes, Malik Avis Malik is asking PhD in engineering process. Could you please explain? Yes, sure. So the question is PhD in engineering process. Now for this, you should be able to complete your bachelor's plus your master's. And for PhD, one crucial factor is uh, the research that you are doing. so here you will have to choose a subject specialization for example if someone wants to do a uh, geothermal uh, okay for example a specialization a phd in geothermal technology you should have your research in hand with you how the phd application works is you should be able to uh, send your research proposal to the professor in the university now finding out a pro university which has very specialized uh, team specifically for that subject uh, is a big task so first you need to find out that university which is conducting that phd then you will have to write the application to the research uh, professor over there once they accept your research proposal then you will be able to apply now funding is one very important factor for research so many of them will also be funding uh, many of the companies will be funding in so it is always better you apply very early for the process for you be able to get a funding as well as scholarship if academically you are doing well you can also get a fully funded course from the university right from your living expense to your tuition fee it can be funded even scholarship is possible in terms of duration research uh, phd can be anywhere between 2.5 years uh 2.5 years to 5 years that can be the duration of the phd program yes thank you any other questions from the participant 
you can write in the chat box if you have any questions yeah which will be the best ielts or tofil uh, so please discuss on that in detail yeah right so if the student is applying only in usa then i suggest uh, the student should give tofil examination now in both the examination the sections are same reading listening writing and speaking uh so only difference is uh, toefl is usa english and ielts is uk based english now here in india as we speak uk based english uh the student can choose according to what they are comfortable in uh, i always suggest students to take a free mock test for uh, this examination it is available online you can take the mock test and then you will be able to evaluate what will work better for you in terms of scoring for toefl i would say uh as the maximum score is 120 90 to 100 is considered a good score while for ielts you have a overall score of 0 to 9 bands that will be of individual section and then there is overall section so individual section i would suggest 6.6 uh, is considered a good band in all in in all the individual section and overall 6.5 um i would suggest go for toefl exam if you are going for usa and if you are simultaneously planning to apply for other countries then only give ielts exam you don't have to give both of these examinations now as i am the brand ambassador of shiller university which is in florida so over there uh, even english uh, language test is waived off as all the students have an academic background of uh, studying in english so some universities will also provide you a waiver for it but to keep a uh, visa in mind uh, give toefl exam with 9200 score of you giving ielts in 6.5 with nothing less than 6 in individual section i'll also talk about gre and gmat exam now many of the students who are uh, planning to do masters for this year many good universities have waived it off completely so this is a very good amount of uh, this is a very good time to actually put in your application because you will only have to give your english language test that is ielts or toefl some universities are even waived it off uh, if you are ready with your documents you can uh, put in your application and both this exam validity is for 5 years now if you are planning to go for an mba program then i suggest to go for gmat exam and if you are going for an ms program then go for gre examination now even for mba program many of the universities have uh, started taking a gre examination also into consideration they they convert it and uh, they do consider gre examination as well so uh, a basis of what you are looking for you can give the examination even for engineering management many universities are started to accept gmat examination as well engineering management is also one very popular course that engineers are looking out to do in terms of job opportunities you can uh, expect to work in an engineering firm at a managerial level position and you will not even have to have work experience uh, to go for this program many of the mba institutes they require work experience and then later on the kind of jobs that you get uh, are uh, in a managerial level position but if you are doing engineering management the job profile would remain the same it's just uh, the degree will be of ms and not mba could you please discuss uh, about the uh, cost for the ielts and uh, toefl examination fees yes so ielts you will have two option first is paper based test and then you will have a uh, computer based test so no matter what uh, examination you are giving in the cost will remain the same which is a uh, 14700 you can give it uh, any amount of time uh, so for example if the student has uh, not met uh, the score requirement you can actually give it again uh, there are 3 to 4 dates available in a month for paper based test 
and for computer based as uh, as much as 15 to uh, 20 days are um, you can actually give the examination booking cost is 14700 each time you book you will have to pay this amount now uh, for gre examination the cost is 205 dollars the validity over of this examination is uh, five years again if you are giving this examination uh, two times you will have to pay that cost in terms of TOEFL exam the cost is uh, 14,197 I would say 14,200 is the cost of TOEFL examination it is again a paper-based test and validity is of two years now in uh, both the english uh, proficiency test reading listening and writing you will have to give it at the center while speaking session will be one-on-one -on -one with the person who is conducting the examination they will be asking you questions uh, and you will have to answer it so the it will be uh, of two days first day you will be writing it and second day you will be speaking it. Now let's uh, talk about uh, GMAT cost. GMAT cost is $275. Each time you give the examination, you will have to uh, pay this amount. Uh, maximum, you can give it uh, five times in your, uh, in your entire life duration. So uh, when you are booking the examination, I suggest you take uh, the thorough practice sessions for both of these examinations, GRE and GMAT. And uh, also many universities have waived the course. So you just have to give the IELTS or uh, English proficiency test. Okay, thank you Shweta. Here one student is asking about the engineering management for civil engineering also. Yes. So uh, as I said, uh, students can go for engineering management from any uh, engineering background student, be it computer, mechanical, uh, you can go ahead with this. Uh, the application process would remain the same. Uh, you will have uh, multiple college options without GRE and uh, this will not cater specifically to just civil engineer. Uh, it will have certain uh, tech-based uh, subjects available. Now, if you're talking specifically for civil engineers, uh, I will actually have to check out few colleges which are providing that specialization. But as I said, many of the universities, they have hundreds and uh, many, many uh, electives available. So even for civil engineers, there are option available. Course duration will be of two years and it will be clubbing business and engineering courses together. A uh, job designation will be in any form. So if you want to work uh, in a civil engineering base, uh, in a construction based company, for an example, in a management level position, then with your uh, civil engineering degree plus your engineering management degree, it will lead you to that path. Uh, managerial level position in a construction based uh, form anywhere in the country. So, yes, this option is available for even civil engineers. So, okay, I also have another question. Has MIT waived off admissions of student course directly in MS courses? See, as far as I know, MIT right now might be even um, close for admission. It is a very competitive university. So the application um, closes very soon. For some of the programs, they do not have direct entry for like computer science. They will not have direct entry right now. They only have it for PhD. So there are only very limited courses which you will be able to go for MS. Now, a uh, lot of the students, they go for either bachelor's courses from India and very limited MS courses. So as I said, not uh, many will have this option. Not many uh, courses are open in MIT right now for international students. It's either for students who have already studied from MIT or they have studied from a elite US university. Only PhD applications are open and even the deadline closes uh, 
really early so i have another question total expense of engineering management including stay approximately so uh, you can expect around 20 to 25 lakhs now let me talk in terms of dollars for example uh, if you want to cut down your cost you can do two things first is you go for a public based university public university um it is not any different from private university accreditations are same the facilities are same lab exposure is the same for I'll, i'll just give you an example purdue university is a public university but it is one of the best universities in the world if you are going to any ucs ucs will give you zero scholarship so if you are looking for a university which will which you want to actually get a scholarship then don't apply to university of california riverside or la that is not an option living expense can be anywhere between um, 12000 to 18000 dollars per year now this will include your accommodation it will also include your food and miscellaneous expense for example traveling in terms of the tuition fee uh, i would say it is in the range of 12 to 16 lakhs per year so this is about your expenses again if you want to cut down the expense rather than uh, going for a university in new york where the living expense will be 18000 dollars you can study in uh, texas austin over there the living expense will be 8 to 10000 dollars per year so you can you can consider this 20 to 25 lakhs per year is your expense total cost duration everything included is 45 to 50 lakhs for two years so i have another question what are the job options available for engineering management student so as i said for engineering management student whatever a uh, company or uh, any tech based company or any engineering management based firm or any um, engineering firm in a managerial level position you can expect to work now for example if you uh, as i uh, somebody asked a question about civil engineering for engineering management now as you guys are already specialized in this field of uh, civil engineering now if you do engineering management you wish to now uh, you have now clubbed it together now you can work in a construction based company uh, or in a infrastructure based company or any infrastructure management uh, based company consultancy with uh, on a managerial level now if you want to go for an mbe option but due to your lack of your experience you are not able to go for the options that you wish to go in then you can go for uh, M ms in engineering management so these are the job options managerial level in an engineering based form which foreign university is best for uh, cse students and what gpa is considered for getting admission into it i have howard university now the universities that you have mentioned they are all ivy league university and i must say that the application for all of this university begins much more before uh, it it starts one year prior to your program start date so the admission have already begin in the month of august to september that is uh, when their round one begins it closes by maximum december some universities it get closed even in the month of november for this coming intake in terms of uh, cgpa uh, i would say if uh, you are if it is graded out of 10 only above 9 it can be considered they have very holistic approach towards the application so you need to have excellent academic record along with it your gre score have to be excellent now they will also consider uh, your other extracurricular activities your work experience then you, by extracurricular activities i just do not mean in terms of your education but even in terms of sports or any other factor there are there are multiple things which you can be a part of so they will consider all of it together now uh, ucla is comparatively easier compared to harvard and upen 
Harvard uh, MIT the acceptance rate is uh, four to nine percent. So if there are hundred people applying, only four can get the admission letter, and uh, the requirements are pretty high. So your GPA has to be above nine or something with an excellent uh, GRE score. 330 is the GRE score, which you can get maximum. So you, you should aim for a, a very high score for GRE. Yes, uh, thanks Shweta. You have addressed uh, all questions. Yeah, if any questions, please, you can uh, drop your questions in chat box or you can mail me so I can forward to the concerned person. So they will revert back to you. And now I would request uh, Dr. Neeraj Gupta to deliver a vote of thanks. I, Dr. Neeraj Gupta, on behalf of Civil Engineering Department, MIT School of Engineering and Technology, would like to extend gratitude and regards to the management of MIT University, Haryana. A special thanks to the Honorable VC Sir, Dr. P. V. Sharma, Pro Vice Chancellor, Madam Dr. Padmakali Banerjee and the Director, Madam Dr. Salni Bhaskar Bajaj for allowing us to conduct the event and providing the required infrastructure for the same. Further, I may like to express our sincere thanks to Ms. Veta from Win Your English and Consultancy for giving an excellent talk on the visa application process in USA. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation for Ms. Sveta for giving us insight about the various career and education opportunity in USA. I would also like to appreciate the efforts made by the head of civil engineering department, Dr. Naveen BP for planning and organizing the workshop. My special regards to all the faculty members and non-teaching staff of the ASET for their time and cooperation in organizing this workshop. I also like to extend my heartfelt thanks to all the participants for attending the workshop. Without your participation, this event would have not been possible. So thank you all. And please mark your attendance in the link provided in the chat box. And tomorrow again, we have a session on Ireland Student Visa Roadmap by Ms. Rashi Gupta. So thank you all. Thank you, Neeraj. Yeah, before leaving the session, please fill the feedback. And uh, I request all the participants to turn on their camera for the group photograph. Okay, Neeraj, thank you. Thank you all. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Sir, so you can uh, you just wait for two minutes or three minutes late, fill the feedbacks, then you can sign out. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah, ma'am, you can leave now. Thank you. <laughs>